What's going on guys? It's me again. First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Redcon1. Now for anyone who's been around this YouTube channel for any length of time, you may know or you may not that the reason I begun this channel was to do with bodybuilding and fitness. In fact, I've always had a passion for bodybuilding and fitness and I still do. So it made sense to finally connect with a worldwide trusted supplement brand. And the one that I've chosen for this YouTube channel is Redcon1. Now personally, I've been using Redcon 1 products for a good five years. The first product I ever used was Total War. It's a pre-workout. I don't use pre-workouts all the time, but if I do, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going straight for that Total War. You know, Redcon 1 as a brand is going from strength to strength. Head over to their website and check out their entire range of products. It's not just Total War and it's certainly not just supplements. They've got everything. So, whether you are from the United States, whether you're from Canada, or whether you're from the UK and Europe, you have an opportunity to head down into the description box below, check out the website link for whichever of the three regions you're in, use code T20JMC. So that's T20JMC for 20% off your order. And look, whether it's a t-shirt, a snapback, or a tub of Total War, I can guarantee you're gonna be happy. Once again, this video is brought to you exclusively by Redcon1. Myself and my YouTube channel are proud to be partnered with Redcon1. Head down into the description box below, check out all of the information, and uh, well, happy lifting, guys. And peace out. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I'm your host, Jacob McDonald, and it's my absolute pleasure to bring you my reaction as a rugby player to this man who could play, well, basically any contact sport he wants, including, most probably, uh, well, the greatest contact sport of all, mixed martial arts. But for now, we're going to focus on his defense in the world of American football. And, you know, I'm going to say that American football as a whole is, is violent. It is. It's aggressive. It is, uh, you know, man against man, the strongest, the fastest, the fittest, well, probably not the fittest, but the strongest and fastest. And, you know, the, the collisions are, are so extreme that there is a quote that always comes to mind now, and I've heard it multiple times, and that is that if you play American football, and look, I've heard this about rugby too. If you play American football, there is one guarantee. If you make it to the NFL as a professional NFL footballer, there is one guarantee. You will get injured, and it's the same in rugby. So it's guys like this that have absolutely zero regard for their own body and their own safety that tend to cause injuries possibly more so than other defenders, other players. Now, I am the first to say that I hate to see an injury on the field. I wouldn't wish, you know, a game-ending injury on a person, let alone, a, you know, something like a season-ending injury. But it seems as if with the aggression and the way that this guy plays, he is wishing an injury on every single player, every single snap that he plays. And, and you know, to have a guy like this on your team, <laughs> on the defense, has got to make you feel pretty damn good, if nothing else. But there is one situation that I can imagine happening that I hope doesn't, and that is when two defenders are going in, trying to tackle the, you know, the guy with the ball, and, you know, unfortunately, possibly the guy jukes them out the last second, maybe he hurdles, maybe he does, whatever. But the two defenders end up, you know, actually colliding with each other, which is not the intended uh, result but it happens at times and I tell you what there's one defender that I would not want to be colliding with on my own team and that's Jamal Adams anyways guys that is more than enough from me uh, it's time to get into the video it's three minutes and 25 seconds long he's had 235,000 views video has almost been out for two weeks it is time we roll the intro and crack into it Let's go. About Jamal Adams is a lot of guys just focus on the sack, but Jamal Adams he goes for the ball. And the 33 out there, he the best defender on the field. That championship football, dog. <laughs> now I did hear, I did hear something about him and his latest deal with the Seahawks. Apparently, he was presented with a deal which required him to take somewhat of a pay cut, but he wasn't prepared to do it. He called their bluff and apparently got paid anyway. So we're going to look at that. There's a lot of consistency in this top 35. In 2019, Jamal Adams was asked about the single season sack record for defensive backs. The former Jet made Joe Namath proud 
with a guarantee of his own. If you're asking, am I going to beat the record? Yes, I will beat the record. That's something that I will get. Jamal Adams gets to Josh Allen. Will you take pride in that if you do? Most definitely. You take pride in your job, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we he, go. He just want to be the best. That's been. There we go. And him since he got in the league, even, you know, with the social media stuff. But when it comes to football, you don't never have to worry about 33. He's going to give his best effort each. Okay. So he doesn't have a problem turning his own horn. But I tend to think he, he's putting a stat like this up because he feels disrespected. He's putting it up to remind people, you know, exactly what I have done. Uh, possibly in a time where he's not being talked about. And I suppose in the world of American football, in the world of NFL, when you're playing for that next deal, yeah, I, I, I can't blame him. In July 2020, the Jets traded Adams to the Seahawks. Three days later, his peers named him the highest ranked safety on the top 100. Jamal Adams comes from the other side and tracks Cam Newton down from behind. Adams made good on his guarantee against his <laughs> Yes, boy. Cam Newton, is he looking back at him? Adams made good He's on like, his shit. Guarantee. He's looking against straight at him. He's like, man, you serious? How'd you get me? I would love to see the expression on Newton's face right now. Former team. Jamal Adams gets the sack, adding to a historic year. Eight and a half sacks. I was going to do the Warren Sapp dance. I told everybody I was going to break the record. People thought I was crazy. But the only thing that mattered is that I believed in myself. I mean, what I say, dog? Jamal Adams' sack record. A guy who can come off the edge and, and blitz and get through tight ends and running backs. He was used like this when he was with the Jets. So he does have a sack record. All right, let's look up his stats. He is still only 25 years of age. That's ridiculous. Six foot one, 97 kgs, pick number six in the first round of the 2017 draft from LSU to the Jets, now at the Seahawks. He's made three Pro Bowls in a row, runs a 4 5 6 40 yard dash, benches 225 pounds for 18 reps. Unfortunately, got a, 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 a well, look, I won't go there. All right, so we went to the Seahawks on July 25th, 2020, prior to the start of the season, in exchange for safety Bradley Mc. Googled first and third round picks in the 2021 draft and a first round selection in the 2022 draft. So that's quite a lot. Made his debut with the Seahawks in week one against the Falcons. Ended up playing 12 games in total for 83 combined tackles, 59 solo, 24 assisted and 9.5 sacks, which must be the record. And it is the most sacks in a single season by a defensive back in NFL history. And it seems as if he did know eventually he was going to get there. He started with two. Two sacks in 2017, 3.5 in 2018, 6.5 in 2019, and 9.5 in 2020. In 12 games. Not bad at all. And speaking of his deal, on August 17th, he signed a four-year deal with the Seahawks. Adam's deal consists of a top value of $72 million, with a $20 million signing bonus and $38 million guaranteed, making him the highest paid safety in NFL history. I know there was a story on that. Let's try and figure it out. The 17.5 million per year average in new money blasts past the Broncos' Justin Simmons's 15.25 million as the highest among all safeties. Landon Collins is the only safety to have received more guaranteed money in a single deal, but that came on a six-year deal, not a four-year deal. Okay, so there was a lot of a lot of worry. I think uh, maybe he wasn't. Maybe his his representatives, his manager, wasn't. While much consternation characterized contract talks or reported lack thereof. So they weren't so he was entering the final year of his rookie contract. He was going to earn 9.86 million. And in the end, they did snap him up. They did pay him a lot more than what he was slated to earn. The deal is done, and Adams followed his followed with his return to practice on Tuesday afternoon. So maybe he wasn't going to team practices or team meetings because his deal had not been finalized which sounds i don't know slightly immature but at the end of the day there is a quote here and he says i believe in myself and i believe in what i can do on the football field all i needed was somebody to believe in me and those guys upstairs they believed in me adam said on tuesday and they took a chance and all i can do is just continue to produce and continue to work my tail off and win ball games man there was never any question the seahawks were prepared to make adams the highest paid safety in the nfl it was continually reported that that would ultimately be the case the bigger question was the guarantees and pay structure and uh look as he as he said that that's an issue for the guys upstairs and his management team but apparently 
the deal is done. He'll be a Seahawk for the next four years, and he's number 31 on the list. Yes. I said, yes. Yeah. He's good coming up on the blitz. He's able to bend, dip under, almost look like Von Miller. You don't see that with the safety. There's a reason why you give up two first-round draft choices for a guy like that. A lot of times you don't see teams... These break. big linemen, man, they're, 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 yeah, it's not going to be easy to keep Adams out of there. ...in the safety that much. There better be somebody that's accounting for 33 coming off the edge. And you've got to... Unless they do a Quentin Nelson and sprawl. ...have a plan for how you're going to block him in every scheme that you run, in every pass play that you run, every play action. Jeez, he is... He's on his he's on the ball, isn't he? He's on the balls of his feet, literally. Unlike a you know, basketball player, you know, side to side, staying alive, staying on the balls of your feet so you can react and and get to that quarterback. And uh looking at the quarterback, <laughs> lack thereof of, of helmet strap. Um that helmet's coming off, mate. Adams, not only was he excited to get out of New York, but coming here was like Nirvana for Chase by Dunlap, and now he gets hammered down as Adams catches up to him. What did he add to your defense? Um, a lot of energy. I will say that from the day he walked into the building, he juiced us up. You got juicy swagger back, man! He likes to talk, he like he's the high energy. I love playing against guys like that. That makes me want to go harder. 99! I want you to match that energy! Where you at? Match that energy! He's not afraid of- <laughs> Whoa! A, a six foot- Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's why there's weight classes in the UFC. Someone who's six foot and 220 pounds doesn't take on someone who's six foot six and 280. It just doesn't happen. So to see him take on Chase Young like that, he's got some balls. Sure, match that energy. Where you at? Match that energy. He's not afraid to let you know uh, that he's out there. I'm a dog. He's like, really? Really? You're saying that to me right now? You're really saying that to me right now? You're just lucky we're both defensive players. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. His first playoff game. I don't want to be too happy because I don't want people to oh, say he's been here before. I tell you, you what, what is that considered a sack? Because if it is, actually no. No, he hands the ball off, doesn't he? What a play. Uses every single ounce of his, his speed and cuts him down game. right with death. I don't want to be too happy because I don't want people Look at that. to say That's what we call an ankle tap. He hasn't been there before. You damn right I haven't been there before. So damn it, it feels good. Hey, where my cigar at? The Seahawks can celebrate. We're champions. NFC West champs. Keep it playing at all times. God bless y'all. And that's a that's a championship sweater, I gotta say. His speed is just tremendous, man. And as far as championship personalities go, Zadarius Smith back on screen. But we're gonna have to wait until the next video. We're looking at a, a running back next, which piques my interest, and I hope it piques yours too. Guys, thank you for watching. I know I talk a lot in these videos i know i go off on tangents but at the end of the day i'm just trying to entertain i'm trying to bring a selection of stats i'm trying to bring a selection of my opinions and thoughts plus a selection of highlight clips to each and every one of these videos and all i can say is i hope you enjoy if you have hit the like button if you want to subscribe please do and i will see you in the next one peace out guys and have a great night